Yeah, I put a new, uh, I have to put a new caliper on uh, the rear, the new pads. Um, and I realized that the rotor was no good. I'm just now getting around to replacing the rotor. But anyway, there's two 15 millimeter caliper pin bolts, one on the top here and one down on the bottom back here. That are torqued down to should be torqued down to 24 foot pounds of torque. So in order to replace the rotor, you got to take your caliper off. So the first thing to do is take the, take these uh, get these bolts out. And I'm gonna have to sh shut the camera off. Do that, and then I'll be I'll be back. And once you get the once you get the caliper off, just set it aside. Try not to get get dirt and stuff inside of it, the pads, etc. The next thing to do is, is you have to take the caliper bracket off. There are two 15 millimeter bolts that hold that on. One up top here and one down on the bottom. The problem with the one on the bottom is it's held in. It's inside of this emergency brake mounting bracket here and you have to be I've already got it loose, but you can see it needs to be lined up. When if you put it back on, it needs to be lined up perfectly. So my suggestion would be just to watch, you know, watch how it comes off. The only way I was able to get in inside of this this bracket was with an offset wrench. Uh, the socket won't fit, and neither will a straight box wrench. So just put this back in here. And, uh, yeah, to go ahead and take that off. I'm going to take that off, and then the, the rotor should come off, then and put the new rotor on. But anyway, I'll be back in a second. Yeah, it's pretty obviously the, the caliper was seized up. The piston was seized up a little bit here because this is all this is very rusty. Pretty much shot. I don't know if you can see that or not, but anyway, that's why I'm replacing this. And uh, be careful sliding the new rotor on because you can, you know, you need to ease it on there pretty good, or you you could uh, damage these these threads, and that would not be fun. And if you want to hold the rotor in place while you put the caliper bracket and then the caliper back on you can just run up you can run a lug nut up on there to kind of hold it in place hand tight it kind of kind of helps to put the the caliper and the mounting bracket back on so I'll go ahead and put the, the uh, caliper bracket back on. And uh, again, these bolts that hold the caliper bracket on are torqued down to 44 foot-pounds of torque. Again, I'm not trying to show somebody how to do a brake job. It's, there's too much involved. I'm just, just showing somebody how to replace, uh, put a new rotor on. I'm trying to help somebody out there. And once you get the caliper bracket mounted back on there, um, you put the caliper back on. Again, the caliper bracket uh, is torqued down to the two bolts, or torqued down to 44 put foot pounds of torque. Yeah, with a with a new rotor on there, you'll probably have to push the piston. On the caliper back down, so you can get the shoes on the, the shoes on there. But I just use a C clamp, a big C clamp, and an old brake shoe. I just put it on there, and I work alone, so I'm going to have to shut the camera off to get this done. But yeah, just tighten the C clamp down and push the push the piston back down. And after you get the caliper on, remember these. 
caliper uh, hold down bolts are torqued down to 24 foot pounds of torque. And I just check everything out, make sure everything's looks good. Don't forget to take this bolt off. Um, and put the tire back on. That's pretty much a rotor change. Not a lot to it. Nice. The most important thing really is uh, the torque on the bolts. That's pretty much it. Um, make sure that you don't have any oil or grease on your new rotor. You always take some brake clean spray it on there and wipe it down really good.